Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on Common Networking Protocols, Part 2. Today I'm going to be talking about the difference between ports and protocols, and then I'm going to conclude with a brief discussion on some common ports and protocols. With that, let's go ahead and jump into this session. Of course, I'm going to begin by talking about the difference between ports and protocols. Ports are a method of specifying what protocol our service to access. Many protocols and services use default ports so they are easy to locate. There are 65,536 ports available to be used for communication, but port 0 is reserved. The first 1,024 ports are specifically assigned and are called well-known ports. If you would like to learn more about those, you can check out the IANA.org website. Ports can be thought of as a phone number extension. The IP address is the main number you are trying to reach. The port is the extension for the service or protocol that you want to access. Protocols can be thought of as the language that two applications on either side of the connection agree to speak. Protocols translate requests into services. Most protocols use predefined ports, but some protocols must be user configured for the ports that they use. Something to remember, ports are not protocols and protocols are not ports. Even though the two are closely associated, they are not the same. Ports are used to request or access services or applications. Protocols are the services or applications that are being requested. When a requester seeks to connect to a specific port, the requester is dynamically assigned a port number to listen to for the response. This also allows computers to have many concurrent connections at the same time. It's time to move on to a brief discussion on common ports and protocols. First up is the File Transfer Protocol, or FTP. It's a standard protocol for transferring files between computing systems, and it does require user authentication. FTP uses ports 20 and 21, although nowadays it mostly just uses port 20. Then there's TFTP, or Trivial File Transfer Protocol. This is used to transfer files between servers and clients but no user authentication is required. By default, TFTP is assigned to port 69. Then there's SNMP, or Simple Network Management Protocol. It's a protocol used to monitor and manage local area networks. By default, it is assigned to port 161. Then we have Telnet, which is a protocol that is used for remote access to systems. It is unsecure but it is also a bi-directional terminal service that comes in handy on occasion. By default, Telnet uses port 23. More secure than Telnet is SSH, or Secure Shell. It's a protocol that's used to encrypt data traffic on networks. It can be used in place of Telnet to provide a secure bi-directional terminal connection. By default, SSH uses port 22. A very useful protocol to have is DNS, or the Domain Name System Protocol. This is the protocol that's used to map computer names to their IP addresses. DNS is assigned to port 53 by default. Then there's DHCP, or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol. This is the protocol used within networks to automatically configure computers with the correct IP configuration. There are two ports used with DHCP. Requests are assigned to port 67. Responses from the DHCP server are assigned to port 68. Remote Desktop Protocol, or RDP, is used in Microsoft networks by both the Remote Desktop Connection and Remote Assistance applications to make remote connections. RDP is assigned to port 3389. Last up, we have SMB, or Server Message Block. It's a protocol used to transfer files over a network. 
The process is transparent to the user. The user never sees SMB. SMB can be configured to run over NetBIOS on ports 137 through port 139, but by default SMB is assigned to port 445. That concludes this session on Common Networking Protocols Part 2. Today I talked about the differences between ports and protocols and then I briefly discussed some common ports and protocols. On behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session and I hope to do another one soon.